Welcome to the second episode of We Are Essington. Today you're going to see best practice learning and operation. What you'll see is how we do this across the school and what it means to students and what is happening in various aspects of the school. I look forward to sharing this with you and hearing your views on what you think of best practice teaching and learning at Essington. Best practice teaching and learning at Essington is being united in having one common, clear, focused goal. The fundamental belief that every single one of our students can learn successfully. The benefits of incorporating best practice teaching and learning ensure that we have a supportive and relevant program for every individual student. To ensure that our teachers know what works and applying every skill that they have to ensure that every student is catered for. As Albert Einstein once said, creativity is intelligence having fun and that's certainly the case here at Essington with our multi-award winning media program. In today's media driven world, one of the most prized skills in our next generation is the ability to understand media and to adapt and use modern technology. Media is a contemporary subject that is relevant in all of our lives and develops the most important skills in 21st century learning, the six C's, creativity, collaboration, critical thinking, communication, citizenship and character. Working collaboratively in groups is a key part of our media program. Research highlights the potential benefits of group work on improving students' communication skills, academic performance and confidence. Spreading learning responsibilities throughout a group of students also helps reduce cognitive load, which allows students to learn more effectively and apply their learning to new contexts more easily. Students are given creative freedom to use industry standard resources, placing the emphasis on student-led learning which creates higher engagement with the students. Then we provide the students with an authentic audience for their work. For instance, showcased at school events, published on our dedicated media website, posted on our school's YouTube channel and entered into local and national competitions. This not only boosts student engagement but also helps us build connections within the community and further inspire the next generation of students. Throughout this process, students also complete a multimedia learning journal to reflect on their own learning and progression of skills, as well as reflect on group work and how effectively the group communicates and collaborates. In the English department, we value creativity and innovation, and this is firmly embedded in our everyday practice in the classroom. We as teachers take risks in lesson planning and the activities that we design for students with the hope that they too feel empowered to take risks in their own learning. This semester, in Year 7, we study the novel Wonder by R.J. Palacio. In it, the main character, Augie, often took note of people's shoes and what the style implied about their personas. Inspired by this, we ask students to reflect on their own character traits, both their strengths and flaws, and then find creative ways to symbolise these attributes on a shoe of their own design. The written reflections completed by the students were outstanding and highlighted the insight they had into their own identity and their growing understanding of sophisticated symbolism. In Creative Arts, we've taken the task one step further and translated their shoe designs into acting and movement. The creativity and innovation the students have demonstrated is truly remarkable and we've had some very exciting lessons sharing and expanding ideas and essentially letting our imaginations run wild. The students are really looking forward to strutting the catwalk during their assessment production in week 10 to present their works of art. The wonderful thing about teaching dance, especially in a school environment, is that you get a whole range of ability levels and interest levels amongst the students. And in having that, the children have the opportunity to express themselves creatively and innovatively in whatever way they want. So it's a really inclusive environment uh, where the children get to really explore where their imagination can take them. The Year 6 Jungle Book production is a really excellent example of where the students have been able to express themselves freely. When we first started with the Jungle Book production, we had a lot of hesitant boys in particular in the room, where obviously singing and dancing is not everybody's forte. 
Um, the creative team went away and thought about how we could best engage the boys in the Jungle Book production and decided that, hey, in the Jungle Book there's monkeys, right? So we decided to recruit the boys to all be monkeys where literally they could monkey around and be themselves and express themselves freely within the environment. So now we have very engaged and raucous group of boys who have a lot of fun monkeying around and being true to their character whilst they sing and dance. It's really exciting. Thank you for watching this episode of Best Practice Teaching and Learning. What I hope you saw there is central to everything we do is that we believe and every student can learn and learn successfully. Thank you.